The Plastic Odyssey has been moored for more than two weeks at the port of Dakar in Senegal. The French laboratory ship aims to travel the world as an ambassador in the fight against plastic pollution. Several Senegalese recycling activists and business people have gathered in the boat's conference room to exchange knowledge and find simple, inexpensive and low-tech ways to deal with used plastic. We think it's really finding solutions that are fairly energy efficient, machines that are low cost to produce, durable and easy to repair. This is how we will be able to solve the problem on the largest possible scale. In the recycling workshop, participants learn about machines that can turn plastic waste into cobblestones or even furniture. This is of particular interest to Hassan Sek, co-founder of EcoTri Senegal, a waste management startup based in Saint Louis, a city on the northwest coast. The entrepreneur would like to transform waste into aggregate material, but so far he has run up against the barrier of funding. We all know that in the countries where we are, and Africa in general, there's a problem of financial resources. So to start a business when you're young and you don't have a lot of means, sometimes it's a problem. But reusing plastic waste is not the only solution the Plastic Odyssey explores. It also seeks to reduce the amount of plastic being used every day. And for this, it has launched a major awareness program on board. At each stop, several hundred schoolchildren visit the boat. Maite Abos presents them with products that can help reduce their ecological footprint, like this glass washing machine. When you look at the problem of plastic pollution, it's quickly overwhelming. You think it's hell. We're all going to die. It makes you really want to do nothing. We want to show them, the children, that solutions exist and that in the four corners of the world, initiatives are emerging so that ultimately we all have a role to play and we all have power to change things. 700 schoolchildren boarded the ship during the stop in Dakar, including these students. When my mother sends me to the store, I avoid using plastic bags. I carry everything in my hands. I'm already saving a lot of plastic, so I will try to do even better. After Dakar, the French ship will stop in Guinea and then Cape Verde before heading to Brazil. The trip around the world should last three years. For Alison Fernandez in Dakar, Senegal, Salim Solomon, VOA News.